every now and then a compressor comes along that just exists on a completely different level. Today is one of those special days. Let's test the bass compressor by Empress Effects out of Canada. Hi lovely people of the internet, my name is Gregor and today I'm accompanied by Frank It on Bass, who is also known as Mr. Bassface aka still not my dad. When it comes to their behavior, there are different type of compressor pedals out there. Some are there just to thicken up your bass with saturations and others are very clean and subtle and can barely be noticed. The Empress compressor is of the clean and subtle type. Of course if you push it hard the effect will become very apparent, but 99% of the time it's just sitting there doing its job and not even asking for anything in return. What makes this compressor special is its clean noiseless sound, it's the speed it's able to perform it and it's the amount of control you get. This is obviously none of these oversimplified two knob compressors. This is more designed like a studio unit and it's for those who like to get their hands in there and to adjust everything to perfection. I mean just look at these indicator LEDs, look how fast and exact this is. I've never seen something this proper on a compressor pedal before. And now let's talk about the controls. The pedal has a fixed threshold. Threshold is the ceiling that when it gets hit by a peak it triggers the effect. This fixed point is not an issue at all because the input lets you adjust the intensity. Want more compression? Just turn up the input and hit the ceiling faster. Of course that requires an output volume to match the level which sits right next to it. Now come attack and release. Attack is how fast the compressor reacts. If you're playing super fast you will need a faster attack time to allow the compressor to follow along. Release is how long the compressor maintains the effect after the initial trigger. Mix is important to blend the compressed signal with your direct unprocessed sound. This way you can make sure your bass still sounds natural. The next control is brilliant. It's called SCHP and it's a high pass filter that can be used to avoid the compressor from getting triggered excessively by massive low end build up. In my test this has instantly proven to be useful. And then we have two mini switches. The first one is the ratio. This decides how hard the compressor will do its thing. For bass players 4 to 1 which is the middle setting is the way to go in most cases. The second switch gives you either a 500Hz mid cut or a 2kHz boost for some extra clarity. Or nothing if you leave it in the middle. And if that wasn't enough this pedal has a check to send or receive sidechain signals. That means you can have this compressor triggered by a bass drum which is a very common use. This sidechain is actually even more complex but let's not get lost in details here. Now let's hear some sustain added by the Empress bass compressor. <laughs> This pedal, I'm very impressed. It's super clean, it's super precise, it's it's effortless. This is clearly now the benchmark for these type of pedal compressors, so thumbs up for that. Uh, just a really good pedal, you might want to check it out. And that's it from me today. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, as always, just put them in the comment section below. Otherwise, please leave a like, please subscribe to our channel if you want to help us out. And otherwise, see you next week. Bye bye. <laughs>